Hey guys, it's MA Fish Guy doing a video on how to breed the uh, gold barb. Uh, these guys are relatively easy to breed um, as long as you have the uh, right genders picked out. Uh, your males are going to be more of a uh, darker black pattern, uh, whereas your females are going to be plumper and usually a little bit bigger than the males. Um, right there would be my female, and there would be my boy. Um, these guys, like I said, are relatively easy to breed. Uh, you do it in about 5 to 10 gallon tank. Uh, and you don't really want anything on the bottom of the tank. You just want a glass bottom. Uh, with these guys, you want a couple soft plants that are you know, close to the bottom. This is where they're actually going to lay the eggs. Uh, you can also do a breeding mop. That works real well too. Uh, that's what I use. Uh, you can get them online. Uh, they come in green, white. Uh, usually the green works the best because it mimics the plants the best. Um, but with these guys, like I said, the black pattern is a little bit thicker on the boys. Uh, and they're going to be a little bit smaller than the females. What you want to do with these guys though is separate them uh, for a couple of days. And what this is going to do is kind of helps increase the breeding uh, by taking them away from each other. What you can do is put the female in the, uh, the breeding tank, the 5 or 10 gallon uh, bare bottom tank that you have. Uh, and then put the male, either keep them in a community tank or you can put them in a separate tank also. Uh, but what you want to do is feed them like live brine shrimp, blood worms, frozen, um, anything frozen is the best uh, or live. You don't want to do flakes, uh, it's really not going to get them conditioned real well. After about two to three days after they've been uh, separate, separated from each other, uh, you want to put the male in during the night time. Uh, these guys breed during usually the early morning hours, uh, so a dim light is definitely beneficial for these guys to put on the uh, breeding aquarium. Um, or a timer even, a uh, 12 hour timer, uh, so it basically the light comes on during the early morning hours, uh, that way their biological clock isn't kind of messed up. Or what you can do is you can also uh, put them right next to a natural sunlight, like a window. Uh, so that way the sunrise catches them uh, and kind of entices the breeding. Uh, what's going to happen once they start breeding is the male is going to chase the female into the plant or spawning mop that you use uh, and they're going to lay the eggs on it. Uh, after they do lay the eggs you do want to remove them. Uh, these guys do eat their eggs real quick uh, and, and if they don't eat the eggs they eat the young, the young big time. Uh, so you definitely want to take them out pretty quick. After about two to three days, the fry become free swimming. Uh, and after about three to four days, they can eat uh, like baby brine shrimp. Um, so after two to three days, once they become free swimming, um, you do want to continue doing major water changes like 25 to 50% every day. Uh, this is going to create crystal clear water. You want to feed them three times a day. Uh, that's what I find gets the best grow out. Uh, the more water changes you do, the faster they're going to grow. The same as uh, if you have them in a bigger tank, they're going to grow a lot faster that way too. Um, so what you want to keep in mind is you want some kind of lighting early morning is the best way to do it. You can breed them in a community tank like this, but I really don't recommend it <clears throat> because uh, the other fish will eat the eggs uh, and you'll basically lose all your effort that you just had. So early morning lighting is key to these guys. Same thing with like zebra danios. Uh, so if you bred zebra danios, it's very similar to those guys too. Uh, so more black on a male. They're going to be slightly smaller than the female. Um, early morning, bare bottom tank, 5 or 10 gallon. Uh, spawning mop or small plastic plant at the bottom works best. Um, so if you have any questions, uh, comments, concerns, put them down below in the comments. Subscribe to my channel up above. I really appreciate it. We're almost at the 400 mark uh, So thank you for all the support and subscribers uh, And if you have any more recommendations or fish that you want to breed, I'll certainly try to get the information out to you uh, Just put it in the comments below. Thanks